Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. All right, today is gonna be a really quick introduction because it's raining out. I don't feel like standing out here in the rain, but we are in Duncannon, Pennsylvania at Old Sled Works, one of the few businesses that decided to open today. Thank you, thank you very much, Old Sled Works. <laughs> yeah, so there's the entrance car. Um, I don't know. The roads are fine today, you guys. I felt comfortable going out, but apparently a lot of people didn't. Thankfully, Old Sled Works to the rescue. All right, guys, here we are on the inside. Um, and I do want to just give a special shout out to everybody um, that has visited here at Old Sled Works. I was just talking to the folks and they let me know that a number of you have come in from seeing the video and they want to also personally thank you. Um, you guys, again, the focus of small business, um, you've heard me say it before and I will continue to say it, is the focus here on the Cult of Vintage. Um, and to hear the appreciation, um, it just kind of confirms that, you know, focusing on these small businesses is, is really where it's at. And um, so on behalf of Old Sled Works, you guys, thank you so much. Alrighty guys, now for the rest of the video, we are going to do a voiceover um, and we are still here in the first booth, keeping in mind that there is a sale of 30% off all items, 10% or pardon me, $10 and above. And of course, immediately what catches my eye is this Majolica picture. Now there does seem to be a hairline crack that has traveled through um, from the front to the interior. So I do decide I want to leave it behind and speaking of majolica we do have a majolica plate now there are a number of manufacturers who did do or utilize part of me majolica glaze uh, i am looking to see if there are any identifying marks i don't see any um, so this very well could be german austrian english i ultimately do decide to go ahead and leave it behind uh, simply because while i think it is a beautiful pattern it is done very well um, i'm looking about at the displayability of it. Now here, we've got a gorgeous pod. It's rum rail, um, very mid-century, though leaning a little bit towards the Art Deco side. Again, we've got some beautiful pottery here. This is a Hager piece. I absolutely love, and it is stamped, of course, I absolutely love that interesting kind of free form shape. And of course the color is really what it was all about. I did decide to leave it behind. Now I did in fact find some chenille. I was very excited about this. It was in great condition. Unfortunately, it was priced a little high for where I wanted it to be for resale. I will say as a collector, great price, dusty rose, no condition issues. And as I turned, I found even more chenille. Uh, this, of course, is in like a marigold, if you will. So I was very excited to see, uh, are we going to be able to get this one? And it does have a scalloped edge there. And what, how much is it? How much is it? It was $50. Again, not where I would want it to be for resale, but as a collector, great deal. Again, no condition issues. And I did see a 50% off sign. However, it was for Christmas items. And that wasn't what was catching my eye. What was, was this little trinket box here. Now these were made for the vanity. There is a series of them. Um, I actually have two pieces. Um, it is applied paper mache here to this little wooden box. Uh, and they did a variety of things for lipstick, hairsprays. Um, I, you know, it, a vanity box is what we will call it. It does have a manufacturer sticker. Unfortunately, I wasn't able, able to really make it out. There is a little bit of a condition issue there on her nose. Um, however, I think that she's in overall really good condition. So I do decide to get her. Now, I know that there are some vintage plush collectors out there. He was interesting. His little nuzzle there is more of the hard plastic with his googly eyes. He's priced at $12.50. Um, he's really interesting because he's not fully stuffed, so he's a little floppy, and I thought that was absolutely adorable. Um, I have been trying to stay away from the, the plush just because of the odors that some of them um, can carry. There, You're seeing the, the dusty rose chenille that we're we're leaving behind bye chenille bye <laughs> however i do find these little bone china 
puppies. Um, I think that they're absolutely adorable. You know, they're small, they're tinies. Um, I typically don't go after such small things for resale. Um, but I, I don't know, there was something very cute about them. For this set, it was only $250. Um, I decided to go ahead and get these. I will actually probably give these away um, as a giveaway, as a, as a gift with purchase. Um, and then below those, I am seeing the purple cow. Um, it is a little trio here, both the salt and pepper shaker and, of course, the mama cow there as the creamer. For $12.50, I do decide to go ahead and pick it up. Here is a quick basket shop. Now, keep in mind, we're like three vendors in and we already got a basket. You know it's a good day when we're only three vendors in and we needed a basket. Now this was really interesting. It said snaps. Um, it seems like it was either a notebook, if you will, or a drawing book. Nothing, no pages were drawn on or signed or anything like that. Um, I wanted to see how much it was. It unfortunately was priced at $30, so I did decide to go ahead and leave that behind. I simply just don't know uh, the value of it. And the thing that concerned me is because it was very specific in saying snaps. Now, here we see a blue bird of happiness. It's priced at only $7. Um, I did decide to go ahead and get this one because of the price. It is, in fact, an actual Leo Ward signed and dated 1990. Um, Typically, I would pass these by just because there are so many that have been offered. However, I personally haven't sold one in a good while. So I was like, you know what? For seven bucks, let's go ahead and get it. These little guys were only four dollars. I did ultimately decide to leave them behind because there was a little bit of damage back there on the one shell. They are like a hard plastic, so it's a little bit brittle. And I can certainly see why it would become damaged easily. Um, I think for the right collector, you know, they wouldn't mind that. It kind of fits in with the broke egg, uh, or pardon me, broken shell aesthetic. Now here we've got a vendor that has got a whole bunch of salt and pepper shakers. They have these as crying onion. These are actually lovingly referred to as drip and drop. It was a hobbyist set. Um, I think it was like an early 50s. As a matter of fact, it was very popular. Um, so you typically don't see any two that are the same. Some anthropomorphic little peas there. We've got these little stitched teddy bears back here. Good price, seven fifty. Mm, I just wasn't feeling them. I know some people are like, I can't believe you get the anthropomorphic peas. Well, I did not. I didn't. I didn't. These were interesting subject matter. It was the big bad wolf there, um, you know, from Little Red Riding Hood. But at ten dollars, I did decide to leave them behind. These guys I absolutely love. These are native salt and pepper shakers. They are super stylized. I love the fact that the head headband is coming down over the eyes and kind of like the button nose, very cartoon-esque. So I did decide to go ahead and pick these up and I love that very dark skin. Now here we're getting some kitsch folks. We've got some sassy, look at these eyes on them, super sassy pigs, obviously pink with applied flowers and we've got some jewels inside. Um, there is some glue residue which is not unheard of for that time period, but at five bucks, heck yeah, we're going to pick it up. Now we've got some anniversary pottery. This is Francoma. It is a cornucopia. I love the colors to this. I think that it's going to go in about just about any decor. It was priced very reasonably at only how much? Seven dollars. Yeah, we're going to pick that up. Again, I love the coloring. I think that depending on what you put in there, it can it can go year round. Now, these guys were very cute. Again, the subject matter is kind of, mm, but the color is what immediately caught my eye. They are priced individually. Um, I would have preferred to have gotten them as a set. I believe that they were about $7 each. So I did decide to leave those behind, but we're definitely not going to leave Frank, Frank Oma here. This is just a quick overview of what we're working with, guys. There was quite a few people here, and I guess that's the advantage of being one of the, the few businesses open because nobody can go anywhere else. Now, we are seeing quite a bit of cupies here. The thing that caught my eye was this die-cut cupie wreath. This is the original Rose O'Neill artwork. It is a reproduction. It's two-sided, and it's very thick cardboard.
Now, this little guy caught my eye. I was like, does that bull have feet? And it sure does. And when we flip it over, we're going to see that it is stamped MMA. And that is Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is an exhibit piece or a souvenir piece. It is based off of an Egyptian sculpt. It is priced at $7. I do decide to go ahead and pick it up. There is, in fact, resale value. There are a few that are listed at about $35 to $40. Um, so I did pick it up. Again, it's the subject matter that, that really sold me. <laughs> it. I mean, who who doesn't need a terracotta bowl with feet? And I absolutely love like Egyptian history too, ancient Roman Egyptian history. I, it, I, I'm obsessed. Now here we've got a beautiful stainless steel and this is a red lucite handle. Um, it is like in mint condition. It's priced at $22. $20. It is, of course, a martini mixer with spout. I mean, look at how shiny it is. There is no pitting. There's no rust to it. Um, I did decide to leave it behind. I was looking at it very specifically for a specific uh, individual. Hey, Amy girl. Hey, Amy girl. Hey, Amy girl and family. I was thinking of y'all. <laughs> um but I know that a few sellers, David, Misty, have both sold uh, pieces out of this collection. But Amy already had it. And at $20, I was like, oh. Now, here we are seeing some Roseville. Unfortunately, it was damaged. It got snapped and repaired. It was only $20, I think, for the right person who wouldn't mind that um, and really wanted to own a piece of Roseville and could overlook the damage and the repair. It's there waiting for you. Again, as a reseller, I, I just didn't want to do it. And then I saw another one, but in a blue glaze. And then, lo and behold, <laughs> it was damaged in the same place um really interesting so maybe those two butted up against each other oh but looky there i'm seeing a little bit of weller oh yeah i'm pointing to the weller i'm like hmm how are these prices gonna be so it, it's a little crowded in here so we're gonna have to do a little rearranging and this guy was caught on something so i said okay well you can stay there let me we're going to move this blue vase over carefully. All right. I think we're free of everything. Here we go. I'm double checking. I'm like, is there any damage on this? Am I doing all this work? And there's like a giant chip on it. I don't even know how much it is. <laughs> it's going to be like $70, $80. And I just risk breaking everything for it. And I'm like, how much? Are you? How much? No chips. No, no. It is... $25. Yeah, we're going to pick it up. up. There is also, um, I'm not going to say every vendor is doing it, but most vendors, if the item is $10 or over, they are participating in a 10% off sale. We are finding another piece of Weller pottery here at $25. Again, 10% off. I absolutely love this. I think it is stunning. It is beautiful. We do have a floral design here on the front. I'm going to rotate it so you can actually see the full beauty of her. Isn't that lovely? I love it. And the prices were right. There is a sale. So now we're going to investigate a little bit further. I always do this. If I find one or two pieces and the prices are good, I'm like, okay, we, we got to really inspect everything and make sure that we're not passing anything up. I do see um, this green opalescent and it's got this gorgeous floral detail on it. Those tongs surprise me because they're actually made out of glass. I thought they were going to be lucite and I picked them up and I was like... <gasps> <laughs> great let's get you out of here a little serrated steak knife you can sit there too yep all right here we go how much is it gonna be what is your guess no this does not glow it doesn't glow it's four dollars <laughs> Like, okay, we'll get it. Now, there is a little bit of flea biting um, down here along the one ridge. I'm kind of going to show you there. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. For $4, I'm not mad at it. No, no, I'm not. Mm -mm, no. Beautiful color. I love the opalescence. And 4 bucks. heck yeah. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder how much an antique photo is going to be in here. It was $2. Uh, you know, I decided to leave it behind. If it was a larger um, a photo at two bucks, I definitely would have picked it up. And then I saw some imperial glass back here. It is the beehive blue opalescence with some iridized effect to it. It was eight dollars. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get you. Now, this is a newer um, imperial glass. That sticker you're seeing on the interior, I'm going to show you here, 
and it is, of course, Imperial by Lennox. So again, we're back to investigating. We're being super nosy. We're not going to leave anything unturned. No, we're not. You know, we're getting the deals. We're getting the goods, folks. We, we got to take our time here. We do. Are you seeing something? I'm, I'm, I'm leaving something behind. I'm like, I'm like the, the screen is all of like five inches from a fake fa face folks, making sure I don't leave anything behind. I'm not seeing anything. Are you seeing anything? I don't think so. I do like that tape dispenser. Don't you like that tape dispenser? Okay. So we're still in the same booth. We're going to check some stuff out. There's another display here. I'm seeing the blue and I do think it's Imperial. I'm like, is it? So they do have it marked as Imperial. It is $10. I probably could have got that. It would have been $9. I think that was a good deal. There was definitely room on it. However, I did a little reconnaissance. There was some, there's a cupboard and I was like, and I opened it because I was being nosy. You can't leave any stone and turn folks. And I opened it and I saw these two little Weller pots and I was like, oh, oh, how much, how much are you? Oh, they're both labeled. They don't have a price. Um, Hmm. I'm going to take these out and I'm going to take them up front and I'm going to see if they can get me a price on it. So we're going to take these up front. We're doing a little bit more reconnaissance here. I don't see anything else. Now here is a quick basket shot. I'm going to take this up front. Basket's getting a little full. I didn't want to put these in there because yeah, I didn't want to risk breaking anything. I know that the angle's a little weird, but oh, sorry guys. <laughs> this is how it looked in real life. We're going to do a, a quick update and then we'll get back to shopping. Okay guys, so just a quick update. They did get a hold of the vendor. I am going to get each of the small, like the peach weather um, planters, jardineurs, for 20 each and we're going to get 10% off making each of them just $18. So oh, let's get back to shopping, shall we? All right. Since I took that stuff back up front, I did decide to go ahead and peek back into that first vendor. I did find a Fenton Milk Glass Santa Fairy Lamp. It's a really good condition. It's 35 uh, with 30% off. And of course, I do find this absolutely beautiful hull pottery vase here. Um, I did not know there is some glaze skipping on it. However, there is a hole. So I did take it up front to, per pardon me, McCoy. Um, I did take it up front to purchase it. But then when I was checking out, I noticed that there was a spot on it. Yeah. So I did leave it behind. I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. Again, it's 30% off. And then I can't believe I didn't see this at first. We found another Weller piece. Um, this is a Majolica Jardinier. It is priced at 165. Now there is 30% off. This is what I will say. I was very tempted given the sale. Um, unfortunately, this isn't the most popular of the Weller designs or patterns to it. Um, again, I'm like just making sure it says 30% off and I'm him in and I'm hauling and I ran some comps, but these very um, general uh, kind of majolica uh, pots, I unfortunately, there's just not the best value on them. And that's a shame. And this one is stamped. So that's pretty cool to see because it is hard to identify. Well, guys, we are going to wrap it up here in just a second. Alrighty guys, well I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video today. I know that we're getting some great stuff, some amazing prices, um, and we're going to continue shopping on in the next video. Keep in mind that's not going to come out until Friday. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, down below the video, um, there is my new Teespring store featuring the official Cult of Vintage merchandise. Um, I'm really excited about it. it um... <laughs> yeah, it's really weird to say, oh, I have merchandise. It's down below. I mean, if you're interested, you can check it out. But, you know, it is there. I'm very proud of it. I hope that you guys um, like it. So, weird. <laughs> so that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoy. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.